This is the episode that does not want to get released. This is the third time we've recorded an intro for this. The episode was supposed to go out as number four. We've had to move it due to some scheduling issues. Um, And it's even a different format now. We've got local man Matt Reed coming up soon. Uh, in a three setup, we've now changed around a little bit, but we're going to start off the show with some loose advice, I think. Well, before we go to the loose advice, why was the second take of the intro not able to go out? Uh, we've got three cameras with three little fans on them, and uh, unfortunately they were unplugged before they were stopped, and the files were corrupt. So, who would unplug them? Please? I don't think it's important to get into a blame game finger pointing exercise. I mean, I think everybody knows it was <laughs> because <laughs> it was Anne. You literally do no graft, so it I was do. obviously not going to be you, was it? I do. I sit here, I get here first, I sit here, and I <laughs> For do the work on my phone. Ever. If you really want me to graft and set these up, the cameras will be facing the wrong way. They'll be plugged in though. I'm not that stupid, but they'll be facing the. They wrong were bit. plugged in. I just unplugged them too soon. Anyway, it's all good. We we got an opportunity for Felix to wear the same outfit as mm-hmm. he does on the Matt Reed one. Yeah, I had wore the same outfit on the re-recorded intro. Yeah, they obviously when you've tried. got a podcast at six and you're sniping at seven. Yeah, I've tried. To, I've tried to keep it as similar. Like as German possible. medic. So I've gone. Uh, I've gone green jacket again. Is that all so, Saints? That green. Uh, was it, was it like a denim overshirt? Is that what you? Is I that how you describe it? I reckon River Island. I think. Was it? Did it come like that, or, or is it like I've, I've, I've worn over time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's worn more than my skateboard did. <laughs> oh yeah, Joe, want me to ask you what else have your parents kept? Because they've kept a skateboard that you used once. Um, what else is in? Where was it? Was it in the garage? The, the skateboard. I, I saw me and Joe have bonded over her. <laughs> Ability to slander me on a story. Yeah, uh, she said, "What else have they kept?" Well, do you know what? Uh, I'm I'm working on getting the the B Tech um, S- certificate. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on that. So anyway, loose advice. Loose advice. Hang on. So we need to explain a little bit because it kind of it kind of disappeared out the the Matt Reed episode. I spent about an hour one day on the internet trying to make some AI jingles because you know we're on a budget um so this is the loose advice jingle i wouldn't say it's great um but you know it's just a giggle don't take it to heart so who have we got some uh who's got a question who wants some advice from the loose cast boys so i've got some loose advice that's been sent to me it's a question we give out the loose advice yes I've got a loose advice question Yeah, that's been sent to me. Happy? So, this has been sent to me by the girlfriend Mm -hmm. of someone that's had quite a few shout-outs on the podcast, but cannot be named. Josh Holland. But cannot be named. Josh Holland. (laughs) But cannot be named. So, the advice that has been asked for, uh, the girlfriend of the person who cannot be named says, so I've been with my boyfriend for 10 years now. I bought him a dog. We have a house together and he still hasn't popped the question. His screen's blank, by the way. It has. It was, uh, <laughs> was just looking at himself. I thought it was the front. Black mirror, mate. I was, I was, I was just going to play the reflection. No, it was on originally. It was on originally. He popped it as, and then it just went off and I just, I thought, I'd keep it uh, I'd keep it consistent. Right. Well, Thanks I think the, 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 the main question is, so basically, what's a dog called? The dog's called Kevin. Yeah. After Keegan... I have no idea. Okay. The dog's De Bruyne? Called I have no idea. Kevin Holland sounds like a football name. I don't KV. understand why... KV, some cool initials like that. The, dog, the dog would be called Kevin Holland, considering mm. nothing was... It was named confirmed. after Tazzo, obviously. Named after MC Tazzo. That's it. Yeah. Uh, nothing was confirmed in terms of who the, the, the person named was and who the girlfriend of the person not named was. So, so the random person that's asked the question just also randomly has a dog called Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, yeah. And how long have they been together? So, as I said, when I read it from the blank screen, uh-huh. uh, Felix, <laughs> 10 years. 10 years. 10 years yeah. they've been together. They live she, in a house together. Yeah. Jointly owned. Yeah. JV. Yeah, JV, great yeah. term. Um, and she bought him a dog, and he still hasn't got a price question. for the dog. A price? How much was the dog? How what much is, is that dog? dog in the window? Priceless. <laughs> Part of the family, part of the family. Found it in a field. Turned into a visa advert all of a sudden. So, what advice can you give her 
mm-hmm. to get him to propose. Put a ring on the finger. Yeah. Yeah. Any advice, lads? Um, I mean, I'm going to go fear, intimidation and blackmail. That's what I'm going to go for. It, obviously, loving hasn't worked. Love, love, care and attention of the, the future, that the future Miss Holland has been dishing out obviously hasn't persuaded. Sorry, just to jump in, cannot confirm or deny <laughs> who the person is. Obviously, it hasn't worked. So I think fear, intimidation and blackmail. Okay. And? Has she got, has she got any incriminating photographs? which could be disseminated via our social media networks. Yeah, get AI to do some incriminating photos. Mm. Black meal that mother trucker. Yeah, mm. I'm down. Oh, we can do a bit of, we can call in a favour from that Photoshop that I've just shown you there. Yeah. yeah. The Klopp one. Klopp shop. The, the uh, Klopp shop, I like it, that everyone <laughs> fell for. Obviously, Anth hadn't checked it because he's too upset about what do you, I mean, you, you, one. You, you cannot confirm or 14. deny you cannot confirm or deny, but what would your advice be? Because you're part of this, you're part of the loose cash, you're part of the loose advice. So very personal uh, advice to someone who you cannot, cannot confirm their name. What would your advice be? Also part of the committee. Sure. So I, I do have to... So you've just admitted that it is part of the committee as well? Hey, the person who has asked this isn't necessarily in the committee. <laughs> What's your advice? Ooh, my advice. I don't know. I think whatever they've got going on at the minute is working, like... Don't rush it. Don't when just, it happens, it happens. Yeah. So you 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 think he doesn't need to? Totally fine. Just do another ten year. I think she should say, "Listen, I want a ring on it soon." Yeah. Put a ring on that finger. Help us out a little. She doesn't. She's a great relationship, great couple. They don't need to make any. Rash need to rush into anything. Yeah. It's just a piece of paper. At the end of the day, the way no. a very expensive piece of a paper. Piece of paper. Uh, yeah. You, and I will have a piece of paper for you very soon with my uh, B Tech. Your B Tech on. on. And I don't want that same sort B-tech of catching balls. I don't. I don't want that same sort of playing it down when I bring that piece of paper <laughs> in for you. Now I want to. Oh, it's a piece of paper, Dean. So can we just have a bit of positivity when I bring that in for you? Right. I want to jump into favourite. Oh, did, did we get yours? Uh, I'm, I'd said just just do some incriminating photos okay. or more blow jobs. <laughs> I, I, I wish I'd left it at the original. On well, that bombshell. You brought on yourself. I want to go. I want to go. Favorite TV show. Okay. The idea is that we're going to come out with a, a definitive list of the top three TV shows ever by giving our one top TV show. So not each. not three each. Not three each. Just one. Just, one. just uh, to clarify, is that three each? Obviously, the, can, as part of the answer, you can give. You know, maybe name a couple of others, but at the end, I do want your top one. So, okay. favorite TV show of all time is Dean Saunders. Which be a good TV show, but uh, the re- the reason I, I can would... see that I can see the wheel turning. Well, well, the, the, <laughs> the hamster. Re- the, the reason the reason I was going on about can I give three is because obviously what we're talking about four, but now I actually have four. I right. Think. Excellent. So, need one. So, the, so the top four, yeah, but I'm going to go for four. So the top four, in no particular order, mm-hmm. for the for the first three, is I think Entourage. Yeah. If you have you seen Entourage? I mean, I'm aware of it, but I haven't watched it extensively. Oh, you need to watch Entourage. Breaking Bad. Yeah. Really enjoy that. Prison Break. Yeah. Season one, Break. epic gets worse from there. And then my favorite show of all time, although they did absolutely kill us all on that final episode, uh, final season. Game of Thrones, right? Okay. Um, massive so you're giving you are giving Game of Thrones your yeah. answer, but honourable mem- uh, mentions for Entourage, yeah. Breaking Bad, and Prison Break. Yeah. What are you saying? Uh, well, because recently it blew the tits off as uh, the bear. Oh, the, it's just season two just come yeah. out about a chef. Yeah, yeah. Well, about oh. the, it's about a chef. Well, yeah, it's kind of, but it's about yeah. like opening uh, a restaurant in Chicago. Yeah. Um, but yeah, very, very, very good. And it's like the only thing that I've seen based around a kitchen, which is like actually has some general believable bits. Yeah. N- not TV, it's a film. So totally, again, bypassing the actual question. But have you seen that film that was on Netflix where it was like all done in one shot? Stephen Graham. Yeah. Did yeah. you like that? I it was an was brilliant, absolute mate. load of shit. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> I thought it was brilliant. It's, it's the most it. divided movie about food when it comes to chefs because... There's within five minutes of it, the fuck something up on it massively. Okay, where the so one you like the wrong side of the knife or something? No, no. So like basically, <laughs> they've, they've got a, an EHO, obviously, who gives you your scores on the doors. Yeah, comes in for a surprise visit. Yeah, and they ask a question about uh, what what temperature duck's going to be cooked to. Yeah, you, you can cook duck medium rare, so it doesn't have to be to a certain point. And then they also mention the fridges. So by UK law, sorry to bore the fucking tits off you, by UK law, seven between zero and five. Oh, and there's I would have said eight. zero and five. 
they said eight and she was, he was like, yes, well, that's very good because it needs to be between fucking It's one of those things like, I watched so that, 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 that. Literally, it's five minutes in. I was just like, yeah. fuck this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you've only watched five minutes of it? No, I watched the whole okay. thing. Okay. And then it's just like, it's, yeah. but that's another typical story of like, chef, piss head, heart attack. Like, it's not like that, man. It's the realism thing. It's, like, like, it's like, like I watched Hijack, the Idris Elba thing. And obviously anyone who's actually a pilot just turns off really quickly because they just got, this would never happen. Yeah. So it's that, it's that thing where once you break the level of believability, Due to a professionalist, like you yeah. know him behind the scenes, you just go, I can't watch this, man. It's for seven degrees. That's mental. But the insane. Bear, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. Felix? I'm going to go. Uh, if you'd have asked me a long time ago, I'd have said The Simpsons. I thought The Simpsons is, 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 was genius. I think they've gone on a bit too long, to be yeah, fair. Yeah. But in a recent thing, and I've started, I watched, rewatched it the other week, Eastbound and Down for me is just so genius. Good, it? it is have just genius. Have you watched The Simpsons? No, yet. I'm going to watch Mate, it. Get amongst it. Eastbound man. and Down is incredible. It's really wildly not available. Like, it's not on Netflix. It's not like, it's really, it's not, I it's something that was like wide. I think it was a HBO show. It's HBO's on, like obviously a paid for our cable subscription thing in the States. Game of Thrones is on HBO. Yeah, but it's, then it was also licensed up to different providers, whereas I just don't think Eastbound and Down was it's really... on uh, Sky Comedy. You can rewatch it on Sky Comedy. Uh, it's a sort of a... <laughs> a redemption story about a baseball player. It's someone who, okay. yeah, didn't... Did, he did make it as a baseball player, but then no, he's he was, kind of... He was a baseball player, but then didn't he... Um, he, he basically, uh, fall from he, grace. He, well, he, he cheated on a bet, didn't he? Yeah. He, like, basically... Scam the bet or whatever. Yeah. And then he got like kicked out the MLB, is it? Major, Major League, League Baseball. Baseball. Yeah. Um, and knowledge. And then gets, ends up in like Mexico. Well, he ends, up, like, he ends up, the first season he's him getting, he sort of gets a job at teaching in a secondary school, like whatever, teaching in a high school. And it's just, yeah, it's just incredible. It's, his, it's Danny his, McBride who's his journey back. phenomenal at anything he does anyway. So Two sisters went through a 14 hour operation to give one sister the other sister's womb. Right. That really changed quickly. Yeah, <laughs> it escalated. Is this like season two of that program? No, <laughs> this is a, this is a question. Oh, okay, we really have changed. If you quickly, we? if you had to give one of your organs to somebody that you know actually know, like this, so let's say they've asked for it. Who who would you give what organ? Your teeth don't count as an organ. I know, and I wouldn't give them away anyway. No. Um, Although what interesting, what what is the line between what is an organ? Your eyes, your eyes are an organ, right? Yeah. Your tongue's right. an organ. Your ribs aren't an organ. They're bones. Are you t- do your teeth count as bones in that in that in that instance? Get in the comments below. <laughs> Whoever knows this. Yeah, I'm interested. So, if you had to give an organ to someone, who do you think it might be? Mm. I'll come to Anth. If you had to give an organ to someone... Like, as in, if, are they ill? Or am I just like, yeah, No, they're, they're, they're in desperate need. Someone you know, love and yeah. care for is in desperate need of a replacement organ okay. of which you can do without. Right. Oh, right. If you can do without it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to go with families first, isn't it? Yeah, family. Yeah. You'd have to go family first. Okay, so... And I've got a couple of people I like. Yeah. You know? Um, would you? I mean, would you give one of your lungs away? Uh, I mean, to be fair, mate, I used to smoke a lot of my own red, <laughs> so nobody wants to. Did these. you used to smoke? Me, yeah. Oh. Two Dis- years I'm in di- January, I'll be off. Them. Oh, no, I did know that, didn't I? Two years yeah. in January, I'll be off them. Fair enough. Best fucking thing I've ever done. Are your ears an organ? What? Are your ears an organ? <laughs> what? Mate, oh, come on. That was did good, that one. I see you for that. Oh, I did. He's, he's good, isn't he? <laughs> Oh, that was good. This one gets cameras are just going to go beep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't that out. <laughs> what about your throat? Is your throat an organ? I, I don't, I don't want to answer these questions. I did, however, get a B in science, so I should, uh, I should know. So if you were going to give an organ to a loved one, if your mum or dad needed something, oh, what would you give them? Anything. 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 Heart. Ah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of me heart. <laughs> I think I have a bit. There's a Christmas song in there somewhere. <laughs> um, I'd, I'd give Wham. A, a, anything to my family. Anything to okay. my family. And, I mean, the pod, like, and, no offence, we can get someone. What's your strongest to, foot to have banter with us? We can't get someone to edit it, and that's fair. Like, that's, I'll, uh, what's I'll what's your strongest foot? Do, don't don't worry. I would accept it if you said the same. Mate, we need to keep. So I, sorry, we're just. Do you just ask him what his strongest you. foot is? Yeah, like, mate, the both left feet, mate. When he plays football, oh no, he's setting me up here. I'm ambidextrous. Oh, <laughs> well done, you. I don't think that counts for feet. I think that's just hands, isn't no, it? No, no, feet. feet as well. That's just yeah. it. Yeah, that's where that conversation came right, from okay. before. For context, we were on about Mean Machine when we would trying to say what favourite films were yeah. before. What about Mean Machine? I was talking about when Trojan runs down the wing and he's ambidextrous. You're just going to make yourself upset again, that mean Felix. 
haven't seen watched it. I did put it in the football chat though afterwards, didn't I? And yeah. everyone was annoyed at you. That Nobody you hadn't gave a fuck. They did. They Nobody did. cared. People messaged me directly. Oh, going, don't what a wanker he is. Ambidextrous. Local funny man, Matt Reed, coming up yep. now. There's some great chat. He's an excellent comedian. If you haven't seen him, you need to go and see him. He's got a show called Ha Ha Mageddon coming up, I think, like this week or next week. Obviously, we're all a bit out of whack because this was supposed to go out weeks ago. Um, but yeah, local funny man, Matt Reed, you've got a point to make. Yeah, which will be the last time it is out of sync because, like we Hope say, so. we're out of podception now, but this was the last one that was in the vault. Yeah. Um, and obviously, it's a great episode. Matt's class. Have a really good laugh. Your AI jingles are introduced for the first time, which I, I think they're really impressive, by the way. Good line. We, we talk about the fact that Anth is a chef instead of a DJ, to which Anth says, well, everyone should know that anyway. It comes up on my socials on there, but we do need to get more into some chef band. I mean, if, in, you, if you take episodes. a look at his and you go, what does he do for a job? I'd say modelling. Oh, do you like jack of all <laughs> right that's the 16 minutes let's go it's just the vault off get it out local funny man Matt Reed back after this three two one yeah. one two three four so this is Matt Reed local funny man Yo. that self-described how yeah. would you self-describe yourself Dean as an introduction to Matt Oof. Reed I would be Here we previously. Go. Here we go. Previously, <laughs> previously known as international DJ and producer. Not so much anymore. White Haven is not abroad. But what would you describe yourself as? Can I say a professional footballer? Still, yeah, I mean you can, but it'd be a lie. Can't I'm you? still trying. You know? <laughs> I mean, you've gone for the '90s footballer look with the hair. That's Don't good. That. That's where I went. By the way, I was just making sure my, my hair was okay from a side angle. Oh. And and it didn't work. I no, was going to say, was it not open? No. <laughs> Both toilets were full, so... We've check. already covered off the fact that he's angry that he's sitting this side. Oh, yeah. Oh, because of a, this a bald spot around oh, there somewhere. I think I've got this cap on me. So. But we're, we're changing. <laughs> it's not even on, bad. Nobody my, knows. My hairline's on. <laughs> it's absolutely off on a vac- vacation. Hairline's fine. It's just like one little bit that nobody had even noticed. And it was mentioned in the first episode. And loads of people have gone, oh, you, I didn't even know You that. mentioned it to me? Not on the pod. Right, can you previously. give three versions of the story to Matt? And it's a little bit like that. What's that shit TV program with Rob Bryden? Would I lie to Would you? I lie to you? <laughs> Would I lie to you? So give him the three versions so far that you've got of how that bald spot occurred. And Matt can decide which one he thinks is, I don't know, the funniest, most likely, least likely, whatever, really. So what you're insinuating is Matt hasn't watched the first episode? That's... Oh, God, as, as if. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, if anything... Come on. Okay, three options. Yeah. So one, I was uh, little, and when I was little, I was playing about, and I was in the bathtub, and I fell over, and I split my head. Oh, yeah. Do you know what it is? It's really weird. You know, like, uh, when uh, Ollie, forensic detectives tell you how to spot a lie. Yeah. I've just seen every single, <laughs> every single thing. I'm going to try and, like, tell each one the same. Right, same okay. eye movements, right. same things. Because they're all lies. Uh, who's it? Who's it? Number two. <laughs> yeah. When I was born... It was there already. Right. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> I think I did that on the first one. Do you think you get away with that with the police if they're like, did you murder him? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> and number three, there's an old lady crossing the street. And uh, as she was crossing the street with a shopping, she was mugged by several youths. And uh, I jumped youths. in, fought them. And they just decided to hit me on the side of the head and cut it. But I saved the old woman still. Yeah. Adaboo. <laughs> well, that was... <laughs> Oh. Add a bill. Maybe uh, that might be that might be the case. Is that? No, oh, that's not why you've got new teeth. Because <laughs> you've got them knocked out in that fight. These are natural. Him and Paul Smith. Got them, him There's nothing natural about them. Him and Paul Smith got them done together. <laughs> yeah, we over there with Paul. I, I, there? I didn't get them done together. No, it's a story. Uh, when I bumped into Paul um, in Manchester, tell him why you were there. Why I was there. Yeah. Oh, I was getting a new car at the time. <laughs> He's been and so coy about what this. What kind of car was it? A green one. A Lamborghini. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. But, thanks, Ben. <laughs> no, he didn't even get Felix there. Sorry. Thanks, yeah, Felix. That's how much I've angered him. <laughs> uh, so I bumped into to Paul, and um, as I got there, he he was in... So, so basically, the story goes, I was meant to go collect the car, at, I think it was like one o'clock, but me and a couple of the guys had gone down the night before, mm-hmm. and because we'd gone down the night before, we decided... Make a deal of it. We did, we did. So we'd had a drink, we went out... And we didn't get back till stupid o'clock to the hotel. So I text um, Patrick, shout out Patrick at Lamborghini, um, saying, listen, I don't think it's a good idea to come in at one o'clock. Can I do a bit later? So 
he was like, well, I've got another appointment at two o'clock, so if you come in at three, half three, that should be fine. So anyway, we do that, come in about half three, and as we get there, Patrick's getting out the car with someone, and it was it was Paul. Mm. And obviously Patrick was like, oh, um, <laughs> Patrick was like, oh, do you know who this is? I was like, of course I know who it is. I was like, oh, I am here. And I, I don't know why, because I didn't. I was just like, oh, I've actually got tickets for your show. I feel like it was the first nicest way to introduce myself, you know, as a crazy fan. Yeah. Um, and uh, what, so I said that, and I was like, oh, but purposely... I've made sure I've got a uh, ticket to the back because I didn't want you to come for us because of my teeth. And this is my first accent. Four podcasts in, this is my first accent attempt. Go for He's it. like, fucking hell, lad. Didn't worry, I've got fucking turkey teeth as well. It's pretty good to be Which fair. I said, yeah. Yeah, sorry. they're not turkey teeth because they're, they're natural. And if they weren't natural, they were done in England. So that was that. But then he, yeah, so he said he'd got his done off the back of a gig. He'd done a gig, taking the mick out of someone, and then he ended up getting his done for, for free. So Paul Smith of, I mean, international fame, but hot water fame hot es- water, yeah. especially. Yeah. Have you got any good stories about hot water? Have you been gigging there recently? You know what? Not, not for years. I haven't gig- I did it when, uh, I haven't gigged there for years. I just haven't, uh, haven't, haven't put it in. Uh, and a couple of times where I have been able to do it, uh, I, have, well, I haven't been able to do it when the vast is, uh, but uh, I just haven't done it for years. Because haven't they got like two venues now? That yeah, they're, they're, building, like- they're building a black stock market at the minute which is going to be one of the biggest uh, comedy venues in the country it's it looks incredible like uh, paul uh, they, they really they've, i mean like their market is mm-hmm. just well they were the first they were in in the uk they were kind of the first comedy club to have a really good high quality high definition yeah. camera at the back getting really yeah. good sound and footage yeah. and then just started posting really good clips they've, yeah they've they've absolutely changed the face of comedy i mean yeah. it's, it's there's it, like anyone can can't claim otherwise. It's it's incredible. So why? I mean, this is a question I've asked Dan Nightingale before. Mm. But I'll ask you: Why do po- more people not do it? Like, why am? And I'm not calling people out here, but why are more comedy clubs or, or comedians themselves <laughs> not just doing that? Well, comics are worried about putting material out and not being able to do it again. I think that right. was one of the major problems. And on top of that. Excuse me. Which is good for Paul because Paul was doing a lot of like the stuff that was going out about yeah. Paul was a lot of crowd work. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, I, 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 that's what I do. Like, that's yeah. what I. I I do crowd work all the time, and you don't for a second think that because it's very of the moment crowd yeah. work. You'd run for a second think that that's why anyone wants to see because yeah, yeah. they're like, "Oh, I'm t- piss out." Dave the plumber and everyone found out who's Dave. I don't give a shit. Yeah, like, and everyone else. loves it. But can, I, I, can I also <laughs> just jump in? Dave, who sent the voice note before. He's an electrician, not a plumber, but I'm going to edit that and just send that to him. You, that was him. <laughs> that, that, that dafty. But know, I think by people. The, by the way, I think it was uh, the second one. The second one. But the mad yeah, thing is agreed. people purposely go and sit at the front because they want to get rinsed. Yeah. It's it's insane. I, I avoid those people. Right. Yeah, if they, if they want to go at the front, they think, oh, I, w- watch this. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm yes. No. I yeah. prefer, well, I, like, but the, I, I've got one clip on, uh, I think it's on me, on me, on me TikTok. I'm 44, I shouldn't have a TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> uh, creepy, isn't it? Uh, but on me TikTok, I've got one clip that went up because uh, uh, like everybody's now putting clips up all the time yeah. Yeah. It, to, to the point where you think this, this is going to implode on itself yeah. I don't know if it will but like and I hope it doesn't because like people love doing it uh, but there's a lot of, lot of stuff that uh, happens with online that can't happen live but like uh, but there's a lot of like this this whole thing with, uh, with TikTok in a minute where people are putting crowd work up and uh, it's, it's some of the clips are doing well because yeah. and uh, there's a lad called uh, Freddie Quinn who's very yeah. he, he's very good online. Rob Holland, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dead Man Talk and the, the, the podcast that goes uh, they put they put content up all the time, like every week, at least two or three videos a week. Yeah. I, I just I can't. It's not for me that like yeah. uh, and like I'm, I, but it's I, I, it's not a complaint about them. They, they, they're doing exactly what they want to do and they're getting they're getting money in. They're doing really well, but I can't do that because I, I I've got like. I've got this thing. If I don't like it, if I if it's not something that I would watch myself, I won't put it up. Yeah. Uh, which there's, there's people, and I'm not saying this is what he's doing, but there's some people on on the circuit at the moment. They just they, they, if you fling enough shit, some of it will stick. Yeah, yeah. Even and, a blind squirrel gets nuts. Exactly. <laughs> like I, so like they just and it's not what, like, but that's what some comics are doing. And you just think I don't want that to be my life. <laughs> yeah. That'd be my CV. Okay, yeah, you did do that, but didn't you do this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's it's the viral world which we live in, isn't it? Whereas yeah. it's like you kind of think, yeah, but if I get one viral clip, yeah. we can just delete the others. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can just archive the you, other you ones. You can't delete things. <laughs> that's the problem now. You can't, you, whatever you put up there, that, that's it. But I put one clip up and it went insane. And I was like, I felt like a superstar for ages. So I was like, my phone was going, <laughs> whatever happens all the time. <laughs> but it was about me uh, at the comedy store and there was a lad at the front who was a copper. 
Right. And uh, he was great. He was dead. He was dead fun. I mean, despite being a copper, <laughs> uh, he was dead fun. And I went up. I says, "Are oh, you a copper?" He says, "Yeah." And I went, "All right, okay." Racist, double at school, <laughs> right? Which is always. I ask coppers that all the time, and then uh, he laughed, and the crowd laughed, and I just went, "I'm just kidding." It's obviously both, <laughs> uh, but, and I just kept having to go at him, and he was great. And I had this whole little scenario where, like, he was like, you know, like Wachowski, you got 24 hours. I did this whole scenario, like, as if he was one of those like yeah. lethal weapon cops, but like because it was British. I was like, hey, hand over your badge and your gu- Oh, you haven't got a gun. <laughs> hand over your, your, your pass that gets you into the building and your 25% off subway vouchers. <laughs> and like, just had a really nice time with it. But the video, just because people like it. Was, and did you do anything mad? Did you put subtitles on it? Did I, you do anything did, crazy or did I you just... Subtitles on right, it, okay. Because like, you fucking got it, haven't you? Yeah, because yeah, there's people downside going, I'm sorry, what does why I mean? <laughs> yeah. uh, who is this peasant? Uh, so I put the subtitles on it and then I put uh, like... Comedian versus British police. Got you. That got a lot of people. Nice. Good catch And the, uh, the comments was people going, oh yeah, but well, what would you do uh, if you were in trouble? You'd be calling the police, wouldn't you? I'll get you out. But like, I'm telling you, okay, son. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to you have a word with yourself? <laughs> was in a comedy club yeah, yeah, was doing the comedy my store logo job. Behind us. I'm like, I'm about to make a, a biting political statement, everyone. Yeah. Strap in. And uh, so I, I did this. and it, the, the, But the one thing that kept it going was the arguments mm. in the comments. Like, yeah. So if you put, like, that's why all these morons like Lawrence Fox and uh, and uh, Katie Hopkins do so well, because yeah. the imbeciles in the camera. Like, even, even, the, even the, the algorithm, aren't you? Yeah. Even the people that hate them. the algorithm. Yeah. It's like, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen, uh, wait, Howard Stern. You know yeah. Howard yeah. Stern? Yeah. Original seen, shock jock. Have you yeah. seen Private, Private Parts, the yeah. film? It's, it was that thing where, uh, where they were trying to get him fired, and they said, um, oh, so... Uh, his points were like through the roof, like for listeners. And this is all, but that's the, the average Howard Stern fan listens for an hour a day, which was more like half an hour extra than any other one else. It goes, yeah, yeah, but what about all the people who hate them? So that's the thing. People that hate them. Listen. Listen for an hour and a half. Because the, <laughs> they want more ammunition. Yeah, and, the, and the reason given in both cases, but I want to hear what he says next. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing. Like, but, but I can't, I can't do that. Like, I, I don't want, uh, I don't, like... The level of it controversy. It so yeah. cheap yeah. to me yeah. to just go on and go, huh, tell you what's funny, what? Something controversial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, like, and people go, no, it's not. And you go, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Lawrence, like Lawrence, I, would, I would watch him drown. I really would. He's an absolute waste of skin. But that's the thing, I'm giving him airtime now, which is... Proves <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> the point, though, doesn't yeah, exactly. it? Exactly, like that's you said, thing, yeah. That's the thing, but, like, people like him, they are consciously... Trying to kick the wasp's nest, uh-huh. and it, it's so tedious. That, like that's why the, the internet's so. It, it was such a beautiful thing, and then everyone got. I can use this for evil and personal gain. <laughs> and, gone. and porn. I mean, yeah. uh, so uh, the last time I saw the last sh- show of yours, I saw was Ha Ha Mageddon. Yes. Before I ask you my next question or make my next statement, could you give Dean a little rundown and anyone watching it who's not a, um, hasn't been to the show? And so give us a little rundown of the premise of the of the show. Shout out where people can see it. And then I've got something to ask you about how Dean and I could fit in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, the whole premise of the show was, it was just when I started, when Putin started to threaten the world. And I was like, mm, do you know what? Because I've been writing like uh, every now and again, my agent gets on and goes, oh, you've got to write, you've got to write. And I write loads of like sketches and things. And the thing is, they'll go, mm, I'm not sure if they're ready for that. And I was like, okay. And then I'll see something very similar on telly and I'll go, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Uh, and I'm not for a second claiming that it was ripped off or anything, but I basically wrote Afterlife <laughs> ten years ago. Like nothing to do with Ricky Gervais. The same concept, same everything. I wrote that ten years ago, and it's I've, I've, I can show you it. the scripts and everything. I've written everything for like the whole thing, how it works out. Two. Seasons. I'm the same with like music. Like I'll do something, send it to a label, and they're like, yeah, we're going to pass. And then like a week later, I'll see like a social influencer yeah. who's got a track out, and I'm like, you kid, it's fucking yeah. dog shit. Yeah. What you want? I'm not saying for a second Ricky Gervais is dog shit, but no, no, there's no. just certain people that seem to get away with certain concepts and yeah. certain ideas, and they get them green lit, they get them done, yeah. and I send stuff in, and they're like, mm, now nah, we're going to pass. Yeah, I've written like I, I've written, a, and that's the thing. Sometimes you get you get stuff back. Oh no, we've got something like this in the works already. I have you, have you, or have, have you just, really, or have you just really, passed really, the idea yeah, on yeah, to yeah, somebody yeah. else? Have you really? I. <laughs> but um, so that's why you got to do it yourself now. But anyway, my idea was that um, I was playing. I think I was playing like some Armageddon computer games as well. Like uh, I think it was uh, Days Gone or something. And I just thought that if if you've got a bunker, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
because I did, I did this, can be the, this can be yeah. the bunker yeah mm-hmm. I did a show and uh, I talked to a builder and yeah. uh, it just happened this happened because I, like, that's how it happened actually I was thinking about I, mean, I was at the end of the world and I said Yo, he was a builder in the crowd and I said okay what would you, how much to build an underground bunker and he goes oh I don't know how big do you want it and I was like palatial <laughs> and he said alright I said to be able to get at least everybody in here in and he goes alright well we'd need this 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 and this and he'd list it and the thing is it sounded like at a comedy club just listing building equipment doesn't sound interesting but everyone was like uh huh <laughs> <laughs> how many times it's yeah, yeah, exactly, but that's the thing. I, well, more than men, one man's one woman, <laughs> and, and any other gender. Uh, but there was uh, like he, he listed all the stuff we need. I'll get right. He go, I was, how much would that be? And he goes, oh, I would talk like six, seven million. I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, I'm not going to pay. It's the end of the world. What are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay. Do a night day invoice. I was gonna say, I, 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 cheers us up, cheers us up in Armaget. After Armaget, <laughs> yeah, I'll get, I'll get straight on here. How many arrow heads? That answer. <laughs> but um, so. And then I got like I started chatting to people, going, "Oh, wait, what yeah. would you do in my bunker? And like, what what value would you be mm-hmm. in my uh, bunker society?" And I just and it went on for forty minutes of this hour show that I like because when I do an hour show, I just basically go right. I'm just saying it's funny and chat to the crowd because that's how I love to work. Yeah, yeah. And um, this just this thing went on for, and I went. I've got a theme that allows me to use yeah. like what I'm what I'm quite good at. You know, like talking yeah. to the crowd and making jokes from whatever gets said. Uh, and I've got a theme, so I can, so ha ha Mageddon is basically the crowd gets um, the crowd gets their chance to uh, like put forward their case to be in the final final civilization in okay. my. Uh, so uh, basically, I went right. How wh- how would you benefit my bunker? Yeah, and <laughs> and uh, they, they get a badge, so you know it's worth it. Uh, you get a badge of bunker squad uh, and bunker daddy. <laughs> I put, I got, I put, I got the t-shirts, but I was, I didn't want to be, I didn't want it to sound culty. And you did have, a, you did have like a, an orange jumpsuit, yeah, jumpsuit on, so yeah, yeah, it's real good. Yeah. Why do you keep looking at me? You're going to ask what my role's going to. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah exactly. Right? Yeah. So what? I mean, look, I'm in the same boat as you. Sorry. We bring fuck all. Okay. So what? What can you do? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> like DJ. I mean, I don't. I can bring the DJ. There's not a lot. It's not a lot of club nights need organ. Well, no. yeah. So we're going to have to have parties. So yes. Yeah, so, I mean, that's it. What? What could you bring to the bunker in Armageddon? What? So Society's ended, but there's a lot of people in a bunker. Yep. A lot of useful people. Yeah, can't even. What try the and, fuck are we bringing? I, know, to I can't this? even try and claim like I bring humour to the table because he's just gonna go fuck off, taken. Well, well, I know, but I'm, I'll be busy being a king, god, and lord of the bunker. Maybe well, you do could you want to write stuff, and I'll just repeat. Maybe it. you yeah. could be like some like I'm quite charismatic if I try and do them. In a maybe you could be way. some like sort of Aryan stud that could just like help stud. us help us reestablish. Oh, not entirely a sure. Good I looking to start an Aryan, Aryan, <laughs> Aryan race. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. So I mean, it's we, fake. That was yeah, it's clearly not. No, these, those eyes aren't very blue either. Ouch. But. I know. Nasty, that one, it. What was it? <laughs> the sparkle, though. That helps. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we, we'll, have, we'll need club nights eventually. Yeah. Also, well, we, do, we do podcasts now. Right. So, you know, we can start a podcast. I well, can't imagine that'd go down well. Why not? Well, what, up what, we would, what we would need is probably radio... Radio, uh, like like bunker radio, yeah, bunker, bunker radio, radio, like a so hospital like people, radio type yeah. of type of thing. To keep, but bunker keep people ra- informed. Yeah, bunker what's radio. Who's we're, outside? We're on a bit of mic work, but we like speaking the mic from here. <laughs> oh yeah, there'd be hell on if you get too really close. Irritating. I'm not sure if I'm too close. Actually, am I too close? <laughs> no, but a couple of times when you were speaking, I did hear you in these go a bit far away, and I'm like watching him see if he's going to. So, get, so the best we I can press a button down there, and I thought, <laughs> is that what it So the best we can. At least I'm not the only one in trouble anymore. The best we can bring is bunker radio. That's what that's what we've got. Yeah, but we're also bringing bunker events. Right. We're just basically doing loads of things and replacing the word so, loose with bunker. Yes, yeah. yeah. so, so, so we've got bunker days. Bunker fest, bunker, bunker fest, fest, bunker pod, bunker cast, <laughs> bunker cast. We'll do a bunker crawl. We we'll do a loose crawl as well, bar yeah. crawl, bunker crawl. Bunker crawl. crawl. So we just go round and round having yeah. shots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. shots of uh, <laughs> potato. What's, what's, what's been the best? What's been the best? How many no, times sorry, we've also taken vodka. We've got bunker vodka, which yeah. is coming on bunker coming vodka. on sale very bunker soon. Three times I've done it. And how? What's what was the the best one? Yeah. My oh. favourite one. There was somebody who was a British judo champion that right. also owned an ice cream parlour. I was like, well, there's no way you can't come in. Okay. Like, it was just absolutely no way. So you can make ice cream and you can fight people off. But I needed security. And there was this bloke that I've never seen anyone as wide in my life. He looked like a special ops that had been like, <laughs> it, it had been like, Afghan. away in the field too long. He had the long beard, the thousand yards. There, <laughs> and he was up like that. And I just went, I went, Right, mate, I need security. What do you do? <laughs> and it turns out, right, he was he was a bodyguard for the United Arab Emirates uh, representative in Uganda. Right. So I says, so have you got guns? He went, yep. I says, are you carrying now? He just said, 
I was like, okay. <laughs> I went, is there any safe houses? Like, Where was this? It was at the start. Was it? I, I said, oh, is there any safe houses around here? He goes, well, of course there is, I. I went, you give this information for <laughs> you know? And I went, uh, what's his, what's his, uh, What's his mother's maiden name? <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I just thought the United Arab Emirates isn't there. A representative, he's not knocking about with a Visa Barclays debit card. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm relatively petrified of being spoken to at a comedy club. I mm. will speak back if, if it, but I, I'm not oh, trying yeah. to invite it. I'm definitely not trying to invite it. <clears throat> so I have like a pre-prepared, if someone asks me what to do, I have a pre-prepared job mm-hmm. to try and shut things down. Mm-hmm. Um, has ha, Before I tell you mine, has anyone, when you've done your bit of crowd work and you've been like, what do you do? Other than it just being, them being boring, is there mm-hmm. anything that they've just given you their job title and you've gone, fuck about turn, let's just move somewhere else? Oh, I mean, uh, but that's the thing, like, you've got to be ready for those. Right. Like, it doesn't matter, like, you've got to be ready. The, um, the one, you get a lot of palliative care people right. around My you. name's Rape Counsellor. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, you yeah, asked yeah. me, I'd be like, Rape Counsellor. Yeah. And I'm just trying, and I'm looking at you going, just go on then. Yeah, what you like, what you do? <laughs> Go on then, go on then, Reedy. Let's have you. Rape counsel. Well, you know what? what I'd do is I'd get you I'd get you a round of applause for being such a lovely person. And leave me alone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd make and sure that everything I said to you was consensual. And I'd be happy in my life. <laughs> yeah. But like um, You're asking me what my answer would be now as well. What would you yeah, if someone if, if Paul or Matt just, you know, well, saw you in the crowd when we go see out, Matt picked out your The issue is now we've done a podcast with Matt and he's already gone for my teeth. Yeah. Um I had to go at your frosty tips as he well. He did, he did. <laughs> He had a go at our toilet layout as yeah. well. So it's very Nottingham Forest ninety seven. <laughs> Centre forward. <sighs> yeah. it, at least you at least you're a striker. Are you what, no, 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 you uh, want, he was a goalkeeper, but now he plays out, out Yeah, out but I was field. trying to think, did because obviously the ex footballer Dean Saunders, isn't it? So I always yeah. get like Didn't was, he get tasered to death? No, I'm thinking of someone else. No. Who was it? It was it the ex Villa player got like literally I, tasered I to death by I was, I was thinking that Dean Saunders used to play for Nottingham Forest so that way you're going. But obviously Dean Saunders doesn't have Twitter. So whenever he's like on on talk sport being controversial every day, <laughs> he gets hammered. People tweeting us, kicking off at us. They're going, "Your opinion, shit. You're wrong. I can't believe you said that about us." And then somebody will go, "Looks like he's just someone from Newcastle who does events and festivals. You got the wrong guy, mate." Like every time. So then you'll get some like vigilantes coming to save us. Do you never. You just keep quiet. I, I used to reply like every. So what often. did you used to say? I'd just be like, "Oh, I think you got the wrong guy." Like nothing. Like I didn't. <laughs> get anything. I'd, I'd I was like, well, your opinion stinks as well. well Come on. I, 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 where are you? I'll meet you around the back. I used to reply just so like... Come to Talk Star Studio and we'll fucking have it out. <laughs> hey, well, the Three worst, o'clock. The worst was, do you remember when he got done drink driving the other year? Oh, that was a fun day on social media. Everyone was photoshopping photos of me in prison like, and stuff like that. With a little tie under me. Is it under the eye where they get My favourite one of those was when, remember, the Lost Prophets got into yeah. a lot of oh, trouble. And they, yeah, and they printed Steps. the wrong fucking uh, Ian oh. H. Watkins in the sun as oh, uh, really? making yeah it was, I mean, we're not even going to talk about it on the podcast because you'll get really upset but the Lost Profits were like doing some <laughs> just for the record I'll get really stuff. upset because there's certain we don't want the podcast to go too taboo there's nothing yeah. that you see in there that's going to offend me my, 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 uh, guys I know very well the Utah Saints were, were working with them at the time and the Utahs are some of the nicest people in dance music like I back in the you, day I love Utah well, back in the day they turned down like huge like sponsorship deals from you know people that were unethically yeah. you know, they didn't agree with their ethics uh-huh. it was a lot to do with the powdered milk in Africa yeah, and all yeah, this yeah, yeah. and then when it came out they were literally doing tracks with that guy at the time and they were mortified like they were absolutely devastated well, but, uh, but, that, so answer your question with Lost Profits oh. yeah they were doing work that I've, I'll, I'll send you the track they did with him it was fucking wicked but you know separate the art from the artist I mean wicked in everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah literally um, yeah so to answer your question I normally just stick with have you I, been asked yeah Is you it, did ask me this. who you by you oh, right I thought no I was mean like a proper comedy club have you ever been spoken to before no I, I, no, I always get asked Car crack, you know, when that video, the right. guy was doing the thing, he's like, excuse me, what do you do for a living? So mm. I, you, you always get like young kids coming up and asking that. What, on like, like oh, do they oh, like with the phone? No, not recording, but they ask right. that exact word. And, and what go, do you oh, say? Well, well, I always try and like just bombard them. So they leave, like not right. in a nasty way, but just because I don't want to go into it. Because if I just go to events and festivals, they go, oh, what events and festivals? Mm. And like yeah. loose days, loose fest. Oh, I don't want to yeah. kind of. Heaven forbid you got to advertise your festival. No, but <laughs> it's, like, it's like, nobody said like kids. Not it's to like those kids. kind of it's, children. It's, not, it's normally like kids who come up and ask when, when you're like in a car park or whatever. Um, so obviously I always just like, oh, events, festivals, commercial property, just try and keep talking so they the lose interest, forget, and just, he's got a good car, but he's boring. And like, Has anyone ever alone. done that thing to you before? Like, I've, it's happened to me in Glasgow before where you'll park up somewhere 
and then some kids will be like, "Give a five out look after I your, look car. your car." Like, has anyone ever done that to you before? No. Never, no. anywhere. And I'm he's had like a series. Of, if he he's had, up in he's, a had, he's had a series of nice cars. You obviously park in like decent fucking spots. Like it's happened to I me in like a one series BMW in Sucky Hall Street. I mean, I, there was a good one. There's a good one ages ago. You know, uh, Tesco Trinity Car Park. Yeah, yeah. So. Tesco Trinity Car Park. Isn't that, there's like a little hub of like, that's become a little like, yeah, yeah. Um, what's Boy Racer kind yeah. of thing? I was there the other night. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's undercover. Genius. So you don't even get wet. I was nowhere near them, but I was at Tesco Trinity Car Park. And then, <laughs> Why didn't you just pull up next to all the little no, fucking Novas no, and Fiestas nice. and that? Do you know what I mean? Be like, nice Cleo bra. <laughs> flop your dick out the window and just be like, ah, Reed, how's it going? I mean, don't do that. I would not do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was, I was sitting there when you got a Lambo. And I, and I just parked up and I was just on my phone replying to people. And um, before I, before I left the car, and as I was sitting there, two security guards came from upstairs. I don't know if they've been walking around, but they came over at the car, right. and I could like see in my periphery vision someone was walking over. I was just on my phone texting. Anyway, finished texting. I looked over, and he's like, "Oh, do you mind if like get a photo of the car?" So obviously, dead polite. Yeah, wait yeah. Till Did anyone ever ask you to get out of it? Like, so they can no, get- I always say, "Can I get out of it?" <laughs> like, I was like, "Do you mind waiting two seconds? I'll get out. I don't want to be in any photos." I know it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I- that happened to us the other week. Actually, there's, uh, there's a picture uh, of you. Like- <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> There is like so there's a, there's like loads of like Instagram pages where they like do supercars and stuff like that. And somebody had said, "Oh, I've seen this uh, green uh, Lamborghini Urus the other day, or Urus as it's correctly pronounced, isn't it?" Uh, you call it along. what the fuck you want, son. <laughs> no, I, I got I got wrong. It's a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know, Desperate. I'm not, Desperate we're not doing anything for attention. <laughs> My parents didn't love us. Any, anything, oh. anything amongst that. <laughs> Did, didn't, they still don't. No. <laughs> Mine are dead. Uh, don't. No. In, in, a, in a delightful bit of irony, his parents are driving instructors, oh. which, I, which yeah. I think is yeah. fucking beautiful. Oh, yeah. And also, I'll bring it for the next episode, but they did find the skateboard for us right. that we mentioned in a previous episode. Yeah, sorry. Skateboard. Again, without well, context. Fine. As long as they can give us free lessons, I need to learn how to drive. Oh, they will. So they will. Has um, anyone ever believed that it's not yours? Like, whether it's the police or I was going to say, like, if you get it, look, out- he's, had, he's had really nice cars for yeah. a long time because he's very successful. I'm not yeah, being, yeah, I'm not no, being no, a dick. No, no, but has there ever been a point when someone's been like, you know what I mean? Like, the, have the police ever stopped you and been like, is this your vehicle, sir? Like, or has anybody ever been like... not. Look at him. He's white. As he said, <laughs> and, Aryan. And six foot and beautiful. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, if I was gay, you're the caliber of fashion now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that one. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, so what happened? Like, security, guards, <laughs> so security guards asked you to get out of the car. Yeah, yeah. So they were like, oh, do you mind if we get a photo? I was like, yeah, but just let us get out of the car first if you don't mind. So I get out of the car and he takes a photo and he, and he goes, I, like no word of a lie. He was like, oh, I'm banging into my cars. He's like, this is the exact spec that I do on Grand Theft Auto. Right. He was like, what made you go for them? That make me feel awful. That's incredible well, that a 17-year-old's a security guard. Oh, <laughs> No, I'm not like made him feel bad. He said it. I'm just repeating what he said. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, how did it make you feel? Well, stupid because I don't know cars <laughs> enough as I don't know cars as much as he did. Clearly, he was like, "Oh, what meant? You, what like made you go for these yeah. calibers?" And I was like. Like the colour? No, no, but green. I like, like the colour. That's brilliant. <laughs> that, I, that should be the reason you get a car. No, it, it, but it was. He was like, oh, look, like, the, what, why'd you go for them calibers? And I was like, I like, I like the colour. He like, knew like the brake temperature, yeah, the optimal yeah, brake yeah. temperature to t- two corners at like 78 and he's like, oh, just I do green. know cars, but nowhere near his yeah. car fanatics. And then he was like, oh, like what's the horsepower? And I was like, I've got it in my notes. Like, two seconds. Seven? A, a horse? <laughs> no, Seven? I've got it in my notes. You can see, obviously, horse. like, <laughs> car people ask questions yeah. and I don't want to sound stupid because if I just make a number up, he's going to go... what looks even more stupid. How, what's a horse? Oh, the, the, the horse. <laughs> it's, um, oh, shit, that's not the wrong notes. Hang on. Yeah. Imagine if you had the top I mean, trump. That's Imagine if you had the top trump for his car and he just had it in his car just to yeah. pull out at any point. When people like, because didn't a Steve Martin have them? Like, he used to have cards yeah, yeah, yeah. and people would be like, you just give out a card gun. You've met Steve Martin with yeah. like a signature on it. You should get the top trump for your car. And every time people come up, you should be like, there you go. Well, no, so... so You've I, met Dean Saunders. I, I just acknowledge the fact that I, that I don't know cars enough. So yeah. I just basically go, oh, like I do know, but not enough of that. So bear with us. I've got the thing. So without being like a, a prick about this, sorry, why would you have chosen the Lamborghini rather than something that can get more than 15 feet per tank of petrol? <laughs> Because um, he doesn't go anywhere, lives in town, uh, yeah. and he gets all his food delivered. All oh, right, uh, yeah. Again, previous episode. <laughs> like, we uh, should have really sent you the episode. No, before you got here. There we go. So you've got, you've got a Lamborghini, right? And uh, I mean, like, have you got another car that you're just not about in? You no, can't, that, you, you but, can't just have a Lamborghini. No, that is <laughs> no but I've got, uh, I've got like again, I've got the Urus now. Um, so like that is. <laughs> 
can't, you can't nip you the can't. testicles in a. In, I'm sorry, even though you've just said so. It's loads more, it's more practical. Ludicrous. It's loads more it's, practical. It's got one. a boot. I've yeah. never had a How boot before. Boot? Oh, massive now. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, it's massive. <laughs> I've never had a big boot before. I Could you put it. a dead body in it? Two. Two? Like, yeah, two. Could you get me and Matt in it? Yeah. Right, let's go, go afterwards. We'll right, social okay, media. We're, we're going to do a story. It. We're going to we're gonna go straight your car after this and we're going to film it. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Play dead though. It's got to stay on brand. I'm going to try and get out. Just two, <laughs> two seats. And no, 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 no. That's the, it. Yeah, he's got a new more practical one now. Yeah, it's the practical one now. So oh, there. is it like a people carrier thing? Yeah, no. So that one there. Yeah, look at it. It's oh, like, it's so practical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that's, that's me and everyone. Yeah, and that's the one where Paul Smith unveiled. Oh, there so, he is. So yeah, so Paul Smith. Am I gonna have to put this video on here again? Because obviously, it's to. not a great visual medium. It, it, I mean, that's a very that's a body body car like. So once a week, I show people something on my phone, and yep. once a week, Felix goes. It's we stop doing that. It's not very visual. And then once a week, I'll say. <laughs> Well, Felix, if you wanted to edit it, yeah. you would put it on there. And then I did edit it, and you told me to take it off. He put it over he said it looked me. Shan. He, he, he just <laughs> no, he did say no. He said it was muggy. It was muggy because he put it over us. I'll, I know. I'll send you the clip. You made me edit out. Um, he did it already in the episode with an all saying thing. <laughs> anyway, so to finish my story, right? Um, we please <laughs> <laughs> sometime today. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was trying. I was you getting interrupted. You, 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 you are, are so very, very exactly. <laughs> I'm coming away from your mic again as punishment, Ooh. but <laughs> that'll teach him. <laughs> scallion. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the, the, the that's that, and I'd, I'd uh, answered the questions via my notes. Um, Users manual, and then he and then he. Uh, and then he also went, he was like, can you, can you do his one favor? You seem like a nice lad. I was like, well, a donut. Was it a donut? No, no. But he was like, <sighs> so good. Did we always get stick and crap that we've got to deal with from them lot over there. He was like, what would look really cool is if we were standing with you and you give this a proper rev. I thought he was going to say, can I just drive it over? Oh, I, I thought he was going to go like, can I just do a lap of them in the car? I mean, to be fair, they, they came up with a great line. I was, they, I was like, Mate, it's like 11 o'clock at night. I can't be like revving my car in here. Like I get complaints. He was, they were like, I know. Who's as from? If, as if only you were standing next to the people who people complain to, yeah. you know, the security <laughs> guards. And I was like, fair. I was like, fair play. So they made his, well, they didn't make us, but they asked him, I wouldn't have said no. <laughs> the 17 year old security guard so you, was really big. <laughs> did you give it a good old rev? I did. Yeah. To be fair. I get back in. Obviously. Did you feel yeah, good? Him. I, I didn't know if it was a trick. <laughs> I didn't know how they do it. And they'd be like, right, <laughs> security has seen that. Just saying, We're recording. Mm-hmm. Uh, picture your face. All the lads going, it's 18. <laughs> well, I did it for them. They were happy. Aww. Do you rate it or do you slate it? I can't hear the word rate. Very well. I, I, that was 17 attempts to get it to sound. Right. 17 attempts to get it to sound. So that joy good. version. I know. T- is it se- re- it or 17 see it? attempts to get it <laughs> that good. Re- it it? <laughs> let's, let's go for, do you rate or do you slate baked beans? Oh, you first. Rate. Do you? Yeah. What do you rate about them? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know I was going to be... I didn't, I didn't know, know, I was know you were going to be asked a question. <laughs> didn't know I was going to be asked a question. About my answer. Right. Oh, I didn't know that was going to be So last time, last time... Right. When we did, uh, asked, asked DJ Shaq what his favourite Christmas song was, <laughs> uh, Shaq gave his answer and Dean just went, I say. There's more context to that, which yeah. has been discussed previously. The context was he couldn't think of a Christmas song that he liked. That's fair enough. So, so he just went, same. My favourite, incidentally, is uh, the, oh, what they called? Dropkick Murphys. Yes. Uh, Seasons Upon Us. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and they're like, Whoa, get out my head. <laughs> Any, anything more to add about baked beans? Again, I'm. I, it, you I, flabbergasted. I had the answer, but question. there's a follow-up. Right, baked beans, brilliant on toast, brilliant. When was the last time you did anything yourself with baked beans? Well, I ate them myself. Um, KFC. I know what you were going for. You were asking right. when I made them, but I'm right. basically avoiding that you because ordered. I don't know when it'll have been. So I had some with my KFC. Have you ever cooked? Oh, it's stopping that there. Is <laughs> Say the reason I didn't answer straight away, I thought it was going to be like, "Have you ever cooked?" And some elaborate and a specific, meal, and then a specific like, meal. Like, but we stopped the kit. Bourguignon. I mean, the answer's <laughs> still no. Tuesday. But I thought you were going to help me out a little bit. No, I have cooked. I can't cook. What 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 meal would you cook to impress someone? If you were like, if someone was coming around and you you know, and you were like, and, you know, and it could be anyone, but you were like, "I'm going to make you this meal Do you know what? to impress you." What is it? Do you know what? I've got a Wagamama's cookbook. Hmm. Or cookbook, I don't know what, I get wrong however I say it. Is it cookbook or cookbook? I say cookbook. Cookbook. Do you say mirror or miro? Mirror. Good man. Mirror's just... Good man, yeah. What, what do you say, cookbook or cookbook? I'd, I'd say cookbook, but I'm from the, I'm from Carlisle, so it's a different, whole different, whole different accent. My last is from uh, around there. Uh, what's it called? 
Uh, Sarah Donnelly. Oh, uh, Donnelly. Never heard of her. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Whitehaven this week. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was, and, and I modify the wok fried greens how I like them myself. Um, so you can make wok fried greens yourself? I actually can, yeah. Can you? Yeah. Where'd you put him? I'm sorry, you can make wok fried greens. It's just, it's, 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 it's a wok and some greens. It's also me. Like, it's, it's, it's impressive. It's when I'm on stage, I go, I've got an air fryer. The, my joke is, I've got an air fryer. Sorry, I've got to tell you that because Argos will take it off you if you don't tell people. <laughs> right? That's my joke. But like, and when I say, oh, what's your favourite air fryer recipe? The pit, chips. I'm like, that's not a recipe. Yeah. That's, that's changing just, the shape yeah. of a vegetable <laughs> and putting it oh, in. Oh, frozen, Dodge's <laughs> frozen <laughs> ones. Well, chips. Because I put a little bit of garlic on them. Well, so that's, that's, what, do you, what do you put in? What do you what, what vegetables do you put in? I don't have the cook. This is this is the car all you over don't again. Know I don't have the cook. Now you see why I asked my, him. My recipe is. Um, <laughs> I didn't even so now you see why I asked him. You went walk right. He doesn't even know what greens he puts in wow. it. I do broccoli. What? Broccoli. What kind of broccoli? Long stems. Boom. Tender. There we yeah, go. Nice. Ah. You can tell someone's on anything. Anything, anything else? <laughs> just, I've got my notes open on my phone. There. Anything <laughs> else? Or is that just it? No, I can make. Uh, no, is that I, the I, only green you put in? Oh yeah. Uh, what else? What else did I have with it? I, I, I'm ignoring you because I was focusing on the rest of it. I made uh, chicken katsu curry. You made chicken katsu curry. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. So the From answer scratch. is. Oh, with the sauce well, part, the sauce. It's the sauce did, did, mix. Did you, did you, did you breadcrumb the chicken or did you buy it breadcrumb? <laughs> it depends if did we're you, going pedantic about everything. But. <laughs> I know, the word you look for there is accurate. <laughs> oh, I liked it when you said something and I said same. Yeah. That's what I liked. And just for the record, it was a lot more diplomatic than that with Shaq. It was... Would it be a cop out if I said same? Oh, why, why it was why it was so horrendous was that Shaq couldn't even remember the name of the song himself. He was like, "Oh, it's one of them songs from um, Home Alone 2. All right, yeah. and he was like, and he kind of sang a line of it. He couldn't remember it, and then Dean went, "Oh yeah, same." But I do, like, uh, but I do know the film. <laughs> couldn't even he- which 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 song was it? Was it, it was from Home Alone Two? No idea. And I went on to try and find it, and uh, obviously because they're all Christmas songs, it was quite difficult. And he'd only sang about three words of it, so it was the point where Dean went, "Yes, yeah, same." It was yeah. such a vague description yeah. of it in that the was, first place. That was an if he'd gone call, Mariah it? Carey and he'd gone, "Oh, same," I'd have been like, "Oh, you know, oh. fair enough." Like a lot of people like that yeah. song. Again, it was, is it a cop out if I say the same? And it's just because I couldn't think of anything. And I do genuinely know that film and know that song. Yeah, and it's I was like, film, it, it, it is, and it's a great song. My favorite Christmas song. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I also knew it, so I just said that. And then obviously, a bit later, I was like a Felix and Anth. I was like, I, I didn't really have an answer, so I just went with it. And he was like, no. I was like, yeah, but don't say anything next episode. He was like, guess what Dean did last episode? <laughs> I was like, nice, cheers, Felix. Tell you what I made the other day. Air fryer recipe for you, boys. Yeah. Uh, Chips. Uh, no. <laughs> Chicken uh, in a Dorito, hot Dorito. And uh, you get the crisps and break them up. Break the crisps up. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, uh Sorry, these are spices. Uh, <laughs> salt, pepper. We're laughing. We're laughing, but like, I didn't know till you said. <laughs> uh, cumin and all that, and just put them in, then you, you dip the chicken in egg, which seems a bit cruel. Check the unborn children out. Uh, and then roll them out. I'm trying to be a veggie, but chicken's delicious. Uh, I don't eat red meat now, but um, I was, I put them about in, the, uh, in that, and then you put them in the air fryer for 20 minutes. Oh man, it was unbelievable. Absolutely. The air fryer banner is basically the same with everyone. Everyone yeah. I know it's goes, they were rubbish. I don't, I don't want one. I'm not getting one. They're a waste of time. It'll never be used. It's, it'll, yeah. it's taking up space in my kitchen. And then three weeks after you've had it, it's the greatest thing I've ever had. I've never turned my oven on again. Five spiders yeah, living in the oven in, now. It's and incredible. <laughs> Obviously, Dean has not got an air fryer. Yeah, but, but again, I feel like we're missing some context here. So, right. and what's the context? And who does to the intro cook, yeah. of the show with yeah. us is a chef. Now, I don't want to be coming in. When we are in your bunker, mm-hmm. right? Dean basically I don't hired Anth as his personal chef six not, months ago. I did not. I, it, it was an accident, <laughs> but it's now what is the case. Um, deny it. No, he, he, he's the chef for the lads. He well, can't not deny just it. me. I'm not the only one. <laughs> you hired him as, to do a, run a meal prep business, and essentially you now just meal preps That's for good. Dean. No, we're, we're, doing, we're doing some things at the minute, mm-hmm. uh, which, which are exciting, but... Whilst we work through all the bits we're doing, he's got a uh, private chef. <laughs> is it meal prep? Is that the exciting thing you're doing? 
No, no, there's Thank way more God, than that. I was going that, to say, <laughs> 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 but meal, meal prep is there as well. And T- it is Tupperware good. and rice. <laughs> 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 no, it, no. To be fair to Anth, and obviously we'll mention this in the intro. Anth can explain how sure. it's way more exciting than than just that. Don't worry, yeah. he, 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 makes, oh, no, it, he makes it fun. No, he does. I'm he makes sure it fun. It's, I'm pretty sure it's quality. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's what cry greens as well. <laughs> um, well, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know we don't need them, but that's my point. We want to keep Anth. Being the main em, guy who does em, the chef. Employed. Well, like I say in the bunker, if I start cooking too much, then what fried greens and chicken katsu that are completely made from scratch, yeah. kind of, were very nice. Everyone mm-hmm. enjoyed them. I cook for everyone. We don't want Anth being out of Months place. two when you run out of those uh, <laughs> packets of spice mix. Yeah, then you can have his job back in the bunker. I mean, to be fair, this is this is criminal what I did here. Like, we, I, get, I got absolutely rinsed for all the guys. We had a big barbecue at mine once, and it was such a... Great spread. Everyone was like, oh, that looks amazing. Let's put it on their Instagram story. So I put it on my Instagram story and someone was like, oh my God, that is amazing. Did you cook that? And I was like, I don't want to lie. So I'll just not reply. And then like a couple of minutes later, I did like another one with me with a spatula like in front of the barbecue. <laughs> like SpongeBob. <laughs> so I just didn't. So it was a white lie because I didn't acknowledge the fact it wasn't mine. I you, didn't, I, you know what? Nobody asked. Uh, nobody. Nobody said. Uh, did you not stand in front of it with a spatula? Exa- That's perfectly reasonable. It's a little bit like your gym pictures, isn't it? I've, I've got a gym in mine, and th- this isn't actually true. This this one isn't actually true. Right. But there's an ongoing joke, basically. Like, oh, where do you live? A leisure centre. <laughs> <laughs> the old Elden leisure centre. <laughs> no, th- there's an ongoing joke that obviously, like, when I'm like, oh, I'm in the gym, they're going, oh, right. So you. No, it's not in. an ongoing joke. You post multiple pictures of an empty gym. Oh yeah, unit. yeah. That's what he does. Like every day, it's yeah. like, oh, back at it, and it's just, but it's just an. Empty, he could just walk in and yeah, pick yeah, a picture and walk out That's again. The it's, not him, joke. it's not a video of him doing weights. I'm not going to do that. I'm not talented enough to hold it with one. And lift with the other, and he get a tripod. <laughs> no, um, I'll, borrow, I'll borrow one of these then. But yeah, so obviously, yeah, there's hold a the phone. <laughs> there's an ongoing joke, obviously, that like, oh, Dean just walks into a spare room, puts it on a story that he's in the gym, and then, <laughs> and then goes to bed. But it isn't true because I did a couple of reps before I went to bed. So yeah, nails. You know, uh, yeah. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna drop another one on my AI oh. created jingles. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Hold this on, side. you didn't ask him about the baked beans. Rate or slate baked beans? I love them. Uh, I'm, do you know what? I'm getting into the non-sourced beans now. You know, like the ones like that the posh ones. posh ones. Right. Right. The jasmine beans. <laughs> like one doesn't fart. <laughs> yeah, um, the uh, like just the cannellini beans. If you just bung them in anything, I mean, just to, just to like you know that whole like uh, if, if you eat out. beans, you will you break wind. Yeah, it's. I mean, I'm 44 now. If I eat cheese beyond a certain time, that's it. Like, I'm getting... <laughs> it's not the beans that get me. It's just the tomato. It's tomato yeah. sauce. Like, I'm whether terrible. it's in pasta, whether it's in, like, oh, baked tomatoes. beans, it's the tomato sauce. I'll Ma- soon be dead. Anyway. <laughs> so what you've done there is a great answer, and you've avoided the follow-up question. I'm going to learn from that. Yeah. Just extrapolate. Learn from the expert. That's the one. My, my, my baked bean banter like, is... Where's the body? I went, well, the thing is... <laughs> I, I had a couple of boot. I had a couple of ingredients. <laughs> to my, one. <laughs> I had a couple of ingredients to my baked beans, uh, an oxo cube, and some uh, chili flakes, and it just gives it a bit yeah, more. A bit, a bit of chili flakes. Just I gives it a bit more barbecue zing. sauce. Just uh, that's oh, just nice. solid, solid. Right, yeah, let's, so. let's dive into a new um, a new jingle. Uh, this one is um, sounds a little bit like this. Personal questions for the sake of content. That sounds like something care pop. Mm. So it's personal questions for the sake of content. She's got a great voice, by the way. Who, me? AI. Thanks. Um, What's the biggest lie you've ever told to get out of doing something that you don't want to do or can't do? I'm thinking, coming to you first, because there might be some gigs you might have had to tell a few porcupines to... I could never do that. (laughs) Get out of. (laughs) (laughs) Or it could be a social uh, engagement, or it could be something to do with uh, your family, or it could be anything you want. It's always... Like, I cannot stand... Like, I don't care where it is. I don't care how grand an occasion it is. I don't care. Weddings are just the pits. I can't stand them. So every time there's a wedding, I've got, oh God, it's such an expensive, well-paid gig. I haven't been to a wedding for... So you use gigs to get yeah. out of I haven't, going to I haven't been to a yeah. wedding. I, I can't, I can't stand them. I mean, like, it sounds horrible. It sounds like, it sounds like I'm the, the love Grinch, but like, <laughs> the love Grinch, God, that's a horrible film. Uh, but I can't, I, I, just, I can't right. bear it. Like the whole, like, you've been together 15 years and you've on like you've just met. I'm so sorry. the biggest lie ever is that you've got a well-paid gig to not go. That's, yeah. that's the biggest lie you've gone. Getting a well-paid gig, that's a big lie. <laughs> Till loose first, um, but uh, no, yeah, yeah, but uh, it, like I, I, can't, I can't, like I've getting out of a lot of like I, I can't like 
I was just talking to this about like, family. Everyone's getting, oh, it's the most important thing. It's not the <laughs> friends you're forced to have. Family of friends you're forced to have. If you don't like them, just don't like And there's a lot of, like, my dad's side of the family are horrible racists. So I'm like, I don't want to be around you. Mm-hmm. So I'll just go, oh, I'd love to come. I've got a gig, and they don't understand gig economics. Yeah. So they're all like, "Because oh, you would gig. think that because oh, you, you would think that they'd be like, oh, so I'm just checking the listings here for yeah. the comedy I, star." Oh no, no, I wouldn't. I'd never. I'd never. <laughs> I'd get oh, to, to, to private <laughs> <laughs> in Luxembourg. Yeah, there's oh, a lot of travel. Classic me. Dean's gonna. <laughs> Dean's gonna. He, Dean's gonna have been sweating the whole time you've been speaking, racking his brains, thinking about what he Same. what he can lie <laughs> what he can lie about to not tell the truth about the lie which he used. Yeah. So. Biggest lie you've ever told to get out a gun to something or doing something you didn't want to do. Well, is it a cop out if I say the same again? Yes, I mean, <laughs> yes, it is. Well, no, I, I am going to ignore the question and yep. just answer my own. But <laughs> you've got to. This is how podcasts work. You've got yeah. to reveal things yeah. that are entertaining to people. That's how it works. Well, no, I'm going to go one different, and I'm going to tell a <laughs> non-entertaining <laughs> fact. <laughs> so, seventy-four break cars. No, no, <laughs> but it's just because one of my good friends. Yeah, shout out Chelsea Milton. He'll listen to this, right. and she's going to listen to your bit there, and she's going to be fuming at me because I actually missed her wedding. But I genuinely had COVID, and I've been best mates with her for oh, for God. years. I know, no, but it was when you had. Is this isolate. one of these things where you you told that you genuinely? No, had no, COVID. I genuinely had COVID, and like Chelsea again, will always. I, I think I told you about her birthday. Why are you winking the other every time you say? <laughs> I'm going to stare at this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I had COVID last. Did you send We're her a filming picture? This. It's not just a podcast. Did I you did. send her a picture of the I test? Did. That I got off the internet. No, I'm only joined. That was a joke. Because you'd also ordered a red biro <laughs> with the test. Why is your hand black? You're like, oh, shit. <laughs> no, so genuinely, Chelsea, I think I'd said, gone out for a birthday the other month and I, I wasn't very well. And she dropped the whole when persistent so like our first night that we started like years ago she used to work for free and help out so she's like I used to help you for free when you first started so she'll always play like the friend card so I've yeah. always got to do whatever honestly it doesn't work on no, me that bullshit no. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't have many friends either, so, just look at her, <laughs> so it, it genuinely I got caught it was it was just before everyone got out of um just before the wedding <laughs> no no it was just before nightclubs reopened so na- no nightclubs reopened july 19 yeah. i think july 2021 mm-hmm. um and do you know what it was i got covered on the england semi-final you know where we beat in the euros where we beat denmark 2-1 he doesn't watch football, oh, football. denmark 2-1 Dean be- won't understand you as a human yeah. anymore <laughs> but Makes no sense. Though. Where are we? What are we doing? <laughs> Who's the president? <laughs> <laughs> it's throwing me off. You don't watch football. Don't like football. On the, on the, on the excuse, you've well, got more to say, have you? Yes, always. Always. <laughs> so about baked beans. <laughs> I know I would have had a follow-up question. <laughs> Threw us off, man. Uh, so I got COVID on that one. So then obviously yeah. I couldn't go and I did genuinely have COVID. So the reason I wanted to go back on that is I couldn't make my normal joke and go see him. Yeah. I would never miss a wedding with an yeah. actual... Kind of if you look at him, we wouldn't miss yeah. a wedding. He lives for weddings. I, I wouldn't miss a wedding. Did you still get affected? But, you know, COVID, uh, when I got it, it absolutely messed with my sense of taste, and it still does. Uh, I can't... What's, what's it? Apple and black currant juice now can't taste like Robinsons. onions. Yeah, right. tastes like onions. And is that and why it, you turned down the Capri Sun before? Yeah, it was, eh? And passion fruit. And it's so glad fruit. you did, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it was just like, I came in with the two waters and the Capri Sun, it was like, oh, you got them? I was like, yeah. Would you like one? And like pushing the waters to watch <laughs> okay. it. Oh, I've enjoyed my Capri Sun. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> on the, on the, on the, well, there's nothing to do with the wedding, but on the big excuses, big lies, COVID thing, I sort of cross over the two. Um, Joe, who you know, because we're on a podcast, we, Joe got, got COVID like a couple of days before Christmas, um, two years ago. And she ha- hates is a strong word, doesn't enjoy her family that much. So she was quite buzzing. And then I was like, I was supposed to be going to see my mum. And I did a test and I had it. So we had like the seven day isolation just together over Christmas. It was like the most magical Best Christmas, Christmas ever. ever. And I kept saying to her, I was like, this will never yeah. happen again. She's like, what do you mean? I was like, you can't live like this. Your family will force you to do things. Yeah. Guilt trip you, turn up at your house. I was like, we just got smashed. We stayed in the house. We ordered everything online. Got like tequila delivered. We got like food delivered. Like it was just yeah. the best Christmas. The jigsaws got pissed. It was like the best Christmas ever. It's absolutely exceptional. I was, I was with you till the jigsaws to be honest. <laughs> when you, I, I didn't want to kill a slow, but <laughs> I loved it, me Framed it. Um, right, I think we're going to call it, but give us a shout to 
where people can find more out about you and where they can come and see you doing <laughs> Armageddon. Absolutely. 10th of September at the Stand Comedy Club in Newcastle. Yeah. Um, I will be doing Ha Armageddon. I'll also be... Will you be getting it filmed in high quality cameras so that you can clip it off and put it on your social media? Probably. Okay. Yeah, probably. Also, um, I've, I've got I've got other shows elsewhere. I've got a brilliant one in uh, November in um, The Ark in Stockton. Nice. Which is called Come In and Get Your Tea where I interview local celebrities. Um, And I've got a chef, and what they do is they tell us their favourite council tea. Yeah. Beans, for example. And uh, uh, I get the chef to make their tea, but make it, like, high-end. Nice. Like, last time we did it, it was, uh, you want chips, beans, and sausages? And I was Mm. like, how are you supposed to? And the chef made this, like, sausage Venison sausage, uh, yeah. yeah. And it was just incredible. And... People love talking about food. Yeah. Like, love it. And I've got um, the last that owns Blondie Bakery that was on, um, uh, was on that, new uh what's his name gordon ramsay sure mm, yeah uh, who made the final uh i've got her come on and i've got a super surprise guest who hopefully i'll get soon so i'll i'll, I'll but that'll be revealed but that's in november in stock Ark, and that's always great and you've got a ha ha again at the time no not not in the time that's uh man out of hell <laughs> clever <that. Nice. laughs> uh, i've got a, it's just that, that's just me sure that i'm gonna try is that one of those annually. ones where you've got a title but you don't know yeah it means not yeah yeah <laughs> Man, I, like, this, what, what the, I'm partridge amongst the pigeons. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. What is it, Alan? No idea. Uh, no, it's just. If a you title. don't, Sky will. <laughs> it's just a title. <laughs> uh, we, we just do the same. We get stuff and shove loose in front. Of <laughs> I'm going to get loose bunker. <laughs> a youth hostling with Chris Eubank. I don't know. But um, I've got. Uh, I'm, go- I'm I'm preparing a tour at the minute as well, which I've called because uh, <laughs> again, it's not going to have a theme. It's going to be called the plot thinnings. So like, that's just keeps it nice and tight and mm-hmm. it doesn't mean anything and I can do what I want so the, I've got all kinds coming up yeah so uh, but I'm, I, the, the best place to find us is on me Instagram and uh, what would that be just just Matt Reed comedian very clever yeah keeps it in well thank you very much mate we'll call it there <laughs> <laughs>